Weasel here. Today we are doing a leak down test on the gasifier, just out of curiosity, and uh, just to uh, be testing things on occasion to make sure that they are within operating parameters. Um, what I've done is I've actually closed off in my air supply to the gasifier and hooked up a hose that I have a vacuum pump attached to, and then where my wet scrubber attaches to my cooling rail, I have sealed that off. So basically I've isolated just the gasifier, the heat exchanger, and the wet scrubber. And I'm pulling a vacuum on the whole system with a refrigeration vacuum pump. And then what we'll do after I reach a certain vacuum, we will uh, shut it off and see how long it takes for it to bleed back to atmospheric. I don't know if you can see my gauges, but right now I'm running at about 53, 55 millimeters of mercury on the gauge and I'd like to see that go up to 100 before I shut it off and test it. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we've had the vacuum pump running for some time and granted it's just a refrigeration pump so it's not a high volume pump but I see that um, basically I have flatlined my vacuum. I've been up to 62 and then down to 61 so for whatever reason I'm not being able, I'm not pulling a vacuum beyond 60, 61, 62 millimeters of mercury, which is about 30 inches of water. Not a horrendous vacuum. But what we're going to do next is uh, just shut the pump off and then clock this and see how long it takes for it to go back to atmospheric. All right, we're going to shut this pump off and start my watch. I hope. There we go. All right. <clears throat> well, let's see how long it takes to get back to atmospheric. <sighs> what do we got here? 28 seconds. Pull that down a little further. We can see real world. Well, without a doubt, it's not what you'd call airtight. Because obviously it's not holding a vacuum. And since I wasn't able to pull it past uh, 60, that tells me then that, uh, you know, we are definitely leaking somewhere. Whether or not I'm going to get concerned and look for it is a whole other question. We'll uh, see once if we can just establish a baseline. So if I ever have to do this again, I'll know where I'm at. So we're up to a minute and 15 and still got some uh, vacuum. I'm sure it's rather boring watching. Maybe we'll just... Uh, Lighter back up again when we get down to zero. Could be another couple of minutes. No point in making the video extra long. But you get the you get the uh, gist of the rate at which it's declining. You know, it's almost uh, what dropping. Uh, well, it drops a point every couple of seconds. So two, three seconds. Eh. All right. As you can see, we're uh, down to five. We're up to three minutes. For it to uh, leak down to nothing. Might be a good test for some of my gasifier associates to try on their own uh, gasifiers to see what the leak rates are in their systems. Two. And for all I know, my... Uh, Meters might need calibration. Okay, 330. Okay, we. 335. That's basically it. Three and a half minutes. And we're back down to atmospheric. Three minutes, 45 seconds to be exact. Okay.